not for a suggestion A lot of people have questions The rotation brings some tension So let's do a trainer session Which items do I must have? The poking shirts are so bad I think it's the worst we've ever had But wait, let us not get mad We have professor and lecture You've got like mysterious treasure Communication all together Post rotation is an adventure Gusting with some custom catchers Turning bench Pokemon to dust and ashes It's all coming clear It's time for action Let's make this video with all my passion Boom! Half a zone, 227 Trainer violence for post rotation What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome to episode 227 on my channel. As you know on my channel you always get the latest competitive TCG information in town so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out and also click that little notification bell so you get notified immediately when a new video hits the channel. So by popular demand I'm actually going to make a buy list for the trainer cards as well. I actually ex excluded a lot of trainer cards you actually don't need so this is actually all the trainer cards you'll be needing to get yourself started uh, with the post rotation content. And and uh, as, as mentioned, I already did a video on, of course, the Pokemon card itself and uh, also two separate videos about the rotation, which cards we're losing and which decks will uh, be very strong after rotation. So definitely check out all those links in the description below if you want to stay up to date with everything post rotation. I'm also going to be making deck profile videos very shortly as soon as we get the full set list of Unified Minds. So uh, as a little uh, side note, Unified Minds will not be included in this buy list. So. As we see, the 2019 and 2020 season will start, of course, on the 15th of August, the day before Worlds, and uh, these are the sets that will still remain, so everything uh, before that, uh, Sun and Moon all the way through, like, uh, what was the set, uh, I think, Crimson Invasion, all that, uh, that entire block goes in the garbage can, and these are the sets that will remain strong. So, as mentioned, the 15th of August, that means uh, the day the people that go to Worlds, including myself, I'm also going to Worlds, will have to uh, pay attention on which cards we can still use uh, in order to make a uh, viable decks. That means a lot of uh, great decks fall apart and uh, yeah, say goodbye Zoroark. Uh, so uh, also there's going to be promo cards. Uh, I don't think there's uh, any noteworthy uh, promo cards that you'll be needing. Uh, uh, that's good for the trainer cards. Uh, but for the Pokemon lines, there's still a couple of uh, Pokemon I still haven't mentioned. Things like the Evolution GXs might still be good, although the EV uh, is gone with Energy Evolution. There's still an EV GX which is also very viable because fighting is not around anymore. But uh, more on that in another video. Today it's all about the trainer cards. Every single trainer card I'll uh, mention here you definitely need four copies of in your binder unless I say otherwise so uh, get your notepad ready these are the cards you'll be needing with uh, the rotation okay ultra prism this is a fantastic set that brings of course the most consistent card Cynthia into the format as well as Lily uh, Lily can also be used of course the copy of Sun and Moon if you have a fuller of that every card uh, of the trainer cards that uh, I saw a reprint in one of these sets if you see it on the slide you can use the older copies as well so this uh, counts for Lily if you have a Lily from the Sun and Moon base you can still use that so for draw supporters we're doing very good we still have Cynthia we still have Lily those are uh, yeah and almost every single deck no difference in the post rotation content Cyrus Prism Star is an interesting one if you just want to get rid of the opponent's uh, bench uh, this is uh, interesting because a lot of uh, yeah, p uh, decks will be using a lot of bench base think about uh, Malamar version Malamar Giratina is looking to be very promising. That means uh, with the Cyrus you can get rid of almost half of their uh, field, so that's awesome. Uh, as long as you have a Metal Pokemon or a Water type in the active slot. And uh, yeah, Skateboard is also good since Jirachi is good. A skateboard is going to be in one of those decks. If you're having a Jirachi based engine, a Skateboard will be in your deck. And that's why a Skateboard you need four off. Uh, for the Cyrus Prism Star, you only need one because you can only play one uh, Cyrus Prism Star in your entire deck. For uh, Cynthia and Lily, uh, obviously four. Mount Corner. that is the next uh, card on the list here and that is going to be for metal types. I know metal types have a little bit hard because of course fire is just so dominant in the format. Even with the new big oven coming out in Unified Minds, fire is not showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. So Mount Cornet might not be uh, yeah uh, necessary but definitely put it in your binder. You never know when a deck comes out. We've seen Mount Cornet will with, uh, work with Oranguru with the resource management. So it's a great card to recover energies from the discard pile. You just smack it there and then you can get Get two metal types from the discard very awesome so if metal type becomes good again we also have metal frying pan more on that later so uh, even if you're still having if there's a metal pokemon coming out we still have an answer pokemon fan club this is also going to be uh, a four off because some versions of the decks will be running fan club not everything can be uh, relying on of course the professor arms lecture because that way your basic pokemon needs 60 hp and this little version of the card you can just get two basic pokemon and put them into your hand so uh, you can even activate the abilities let's say you use fan 
club, you get a Dedenne GX and uh, something else you want. All tag team GXs are of course basic Pokemon, so it's a good consideration if you're making uh, one of those decks. Although Cherry's Ball is also a way to get out GXs, but Pokemon Fan Club, a very nice way to just get out uh, Pokemon that have more than 60 HP, because otherwise you are definitely going to be running an Elm based version. Other than to fight Fossil, four copies. Uh, Fossil seems to be getting a, a bit of a support because in Unified Minds we're getting that awesome research lab where you can just get, of course, uh, the uh, fossils that evolve from Other than to fight Fossils. Uh, think about Cranidas, think about Almanite, Kabuto. You can get them immediately onto the bench thanks to that stadium card. But you still need a couple of uh, copies of the Unidentified Fossil. If you're making a full version of a fossil deck, you'll need four copies of the Unidentified Fossil. Volder, this is one of the cards I love most after rotation because this is going to be a way to search out reset stat. Uh, if you're ma making the deck with Voltner, you're gonna have a Voltner based engine, things are gonna go looking great. Not only can you get energies with Voltner, you can also get an item card, and that you can uh, be any item card. You can just get your custom catcher because custom catcher will be the way to gust up Pokemon, but you can also get your reset stamp, and every deck will be running reset stamp. That is our comeback card. For those of you that don't know what reset stamp does, you can just uh, smack it down an item card, and then the opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws the same amount of uh, cards that they have equal to the prize cards they have left. So uh, at the beginning of the game is less uh, mediocre to say the least, but at the late game of the opponent, let's say, only needs to take one more prize card, you smack down reset step and you equal lead the game. You equal the game if they don't have their board state uh, are fixed already and they don't have a draw engine on their field, you're gonna have an awesome time. And Voltner can search it out, not only that, Voltner can also search out rare candy if you're making a candy based list. Voltner is awesome, you need four copies. Next up is gonna be Beast Ring. And the Forbidden Light set, uh, it, it was all about B-String to say the least, and also Mysterious Treasure, those are kind of a must in uh, the set like this. Uh, B-String, 4 copies, it's a rare I know, but there's also a leak promo available, if you have a leak uh, somewhere around, there's gonna be a lot of those promos in uh, print, so that's awesome. B-String is gonna be equal, uh, equally good, because you're gonna use it for a lot of Ultra Beasts, and uh, nowadays there's a lot of Ultra Beasts out there. We have Blacephalon, Nagadadon, still very OP after rotation, so B-String is gonna be one of those turns that you can smack it down, get two energies immediately. Ultra Necrozma can make use of this. There's also, uh, you can use the Buzzwell, Feramosa, Tag Team, GX, there's a lot of uh, Ultra Beasts around, so B-String is something you need. Bunny it might be something you're just uh, scratching off your list, but if you plan on making a Zygarde deck, there's a new Zygarde coming up that uh, boosts the attack of every Zygarde and Zygarde GX by 20, so for every one of those copies on the field, 20 extra damage, that's gonna be fantastic, and uh, yeah, maybe you can just can try out the uh, Bunny here, because if you use that, uh, you can uh, still use another GX move, and uh, of course, the uh, Zygarde GX has the GX move Verdict GX that uh, becomes invincible for GXs for a uh, turn so that means you can spam Bonnie do it again so uh, maybe you can uh, have a couple of, co of the copies of Bonnie Crash your wake. Uh, this is gonna be neat because you can just discard two water energies and just get two cards that you wish immediately from the deck not only is this better than the Ratch Challenge, uh, this is gonna be mainly for water decks, but we've seen it before in a Gyarados deck. Maybe if there's a good water deck, a viable water deck coming out, this will be the main way to just get everything you want. There's also Caldeo GX, that is a water type, and it also cannot be hit by GXs. Uh, same effect as the Scoundrel Guard ability of Hoopa of Shining Legends, which rotated out. So maybe Crash Away can find its room right there. Diana is gonna be necessary because there's not a lot of ways to get things back from the discard pile without a rescue stretcher how are you gonna get things back oh no Brock's grit is there but Dianta is way easier for fairy decks if a fairy Pokemon got knocked out you can have the option to get two cards immediately from the discard pile into your hand really powerful this can be like oh no you just knocked one of my fairies out well I can take two custom catchers from the discard pile boom we have a yeah everybody loves to so, uh, to play Guzma well it's a, the Lysander effect of that so two custom catchers with of course Dianta so that way you have more gusting options than the typical decks out there except for fire because those have nine tails from the team upset uh, next is a fossil excavation map this is gonna also be necessary to just get your unidentified fossils from the discard pile into your hand I know greens exploration is gonna be a way to just search out your unidentified fossils but with fossil excavation map you can search one out of your deck or get one from the discard pile judge the only way to disrupt the opponent will be reset step and judge uh, so uh, without martial let losing everybody judge is gonna be the way main way to do that uh, to just get of course the game to just lower the opponent's hand size lies under spirits of star you uh, that might be questionable because uh, not it's never seen play uh, for every fire Pokemon uh, that you have 
You can just get uh, yeah, a Pokemon card from the opponent's discard pile and put it in the Lost Zone. That could be a trainer card, a Pokemon, whatever, any card you want in the Lost Zone. This can be ideal if you have an entire fire-based deck. Fire is good, mark my words. You can just get all the energies from a Malamar deck, for instance, into the Lost Zone. Same goes for Giratina. It's not coming back anymore if you play down Lysander Prism Star. I don't know, Giratina likes to loop itself with Distortion Door. Well, we can just block that out entirely if you just smack down a Lysander Prism Star. How cool is that? Getting rid of the Giratinas at once. Okay, next up, although a smart player would not be putting two Giratinas in the discard pile, it would be leaving one in the hand, but still, Lysander's Prism Star is good. There might be a Giratina price, you know? Lady, searching out energies from the deck. I know we've seen it before with the Robombi, the ability. This searches it out immediately. Uh, if there comes uh, an opportunity in time, we still have, of course, Magna Zone, the one uh, from Forbidden Light, and uh, yeah, another one where you can just spam energies, the Rain Dance ability for Lightning and Metal. Those decks typically enjoy a Lady card because with that, you can just search energies and plop them down immediately onto the field so that is awesome not only that if there's a, a deck that likes to have energy acceleration from the hand lady might be the way to go lysander's laps this is gonna be an amazing thing why is that just hear me out on this there's no longer field blower around so how do we lock down the tool cards uh, for instance sedinja uh, spell tax also one of those annoying tool cards that way you can just smack down Lysander Labs and the tool cards in play have no effect. That means you go through Shedinjas, uh, we're still taking prize cards, screw that deck. We are still going through things like Choice Helmet, going, going through Spell Attack, it doesn't get activated when you knock something out. Lysander Labs is very good and it will only get better the more tool cards get uh, yeah, released. Next is Metal Frying Pan. If you're playing a metal deck, you're obligated to run this because fire types are just dominant in the format. And with this, you remove your weakness and also uh, reduce the damage done to you by 30, which is very good. They uh, pair that with a uh, Lucario and Metal, metal Tag Team GX, and you have quite a defensive deck, right? Mysterious Treasure, this is a must. You need four copies of this. This is fantastic for Dragon types and Psychic types alike. Typically, we will be using this in the Malamar version because Malamar can be paired with Giratina and Garchomp Tag Team GX, but can also be paired with, of course, Psychic stuff. There's Mew and Mewtwo Tag Team GX coming out. There is, of course, Dragon types you can just search out with Ultra Necrozma and stuff. So, Mysterious Treasure is going to be a versatile card if you're playing any type of Psychic Pokemon or Dragon type Pokemon. Think about Alolan Exeggutor, for instance. There's going to be, a, a, yeah, Execute, a Psychic type coming out. So, Mysterious Treasure searches either the Execute and the Dragon type Alolan Exeggutor. So, Mysterious Treasure, very good. You need four copies. Ultra Recon Squad, or Recon Squad, whatever it's pronounced, it might see its way. Maybe two copies or something you want that. It might slip its way into the next. Nagadel Beach Box deck, there's gonna be a Nagadel coming out and Unify Minds, which has the ability if you discard an Ultra Beast from your hand, you can just search your actually draw three cards. And this is the exact same thing, but as a supporter, you can discard up to two Ultra Beasts from your hand for every uh, Ultra Beast you discarded, draw three cards. So if you play a Gra uh, Brax Grid, you might just play a heavy line of Ultra Recon Squad, a lot of Ultra Beasts, a lot of Rainbow Energies, etc. And you can just draw a lot of cards. Imagine you have three Ultra Beasts in your hand and you don't need them at a specific point. Let's say a Baby Buzz at the beginning of the game. We have the Baby Zerkatry, we have uh, Baby Celesteela. All the Ultra Beasts, discard all of them, boom, you get nine cards uh, in total if you have the ability of Nagadel as well. But I wonder if it's not even better to just run multiple Nagadels, but that uh, Ultra Recon Squad, Recon Squad, whatever, this is definitely a viable option to think about because uh yeah drawing cards is good <laughs> ultra space fantastic four off if you're playing an ultra beast deck you might want to up these numbers up uh, play the maximum of four why is that because of course uh yeah things like nasball get rotated so ultra space typically searches out an ultra beast every ultra beast is uh, typically a basic except for nagadel but ultra space searches everything so you can search your nagadel you can search your poipel you can search your Blacephalon, you can search everything. So that's a very uh, solid stadium card, definitely. When we lose things like Ultra Ball, so uh, a unified search for, of course, Ultra Beast. Moving forward, Celestial Storm. Beast Ball, as mentioned. If you are playing a deck with tons of Ultra Beasts, Beast Ball might actually be viable. You just search your deck, oh, something is priced, that's fantastic. Use Beast Ball, you can get it. Energy recycle system, you either get one energy back to the hand or three back to the deck. So it's basically like rescue stretcher for energy cards, basic energy cards to say the least. I used to play that in my alone executor list. Uh, it's, yeah, very good. Sometimes you have your early aggressive things where you just got a lot of energies and then you can just sometimes get your grass energy back when you don't run into it. 
Energy Switch, we've seen it before in Picaron, we'll definitely see it play, although Tag Switch is also kind of a thing, so maybe you lower the count down in certain decks because Tag Switch will be awesome. Tag Switch switches around two energies from one of your tag teams to one of another Pokemon. Fisherman, uh, same thing as Lady, but from the discard pile you can get four basic energies uh, from the discard pile into your hand. Sometimes, as mentioned, if a Rain Dance variant comes out in a certain type and it's good, Fisherman might see uh, itself as a one-off. I wouldn't run multiple copies though. Friend Ball. I would run uh, four copies in your binder. Why is that? Friend Ball, if you're going to Worlds and you expect a lot of Psychic, play Friend Ball. You have Friend Ball, you have Mysterious Treasure, things will be alright. Other than that, you can also run the Elm version with communication, but more on that later. Hustle Belt, uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. I would run, it depends on which deck you're uh, making. I just put four copies in, it's not even uh, expensive at all. Same goes for Last Chance Potion, uh, healing up all the damage if you have like a low amount of hit points. This could be interesting uh, to heal off a lot of damage, although Great Potion also works out for uh, Tag Team GXs, or actually GXs in general, should check that out. But it's a very great uh, healing card, heals 50 from a GX, I believe. Next is Lizaya, you only need to play one copy, it is just, although we don't have Tapu Lele GX, so I wonder if it's even viable. Lizaya searches out two Prism Stars, and uh, there's a better way to get your Prism Stadium card, let's say. Oh, I definitely want my Lost, to the, actually my uh, Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Well, there's also a, a flippy coin uh, out there. You can just have that uh, searching for a stadium card item. Flip two coins for every head, search your deck for a stadium card and put it in the hand. I think that's one of the cards that comes out in Unified Man. So, Lizaya is questionable. But uh, it also searches out things like Beast Energy. So, yeah, it depends on what you want to do, right? Lure Ball, definitely four copies. It's very good. And the Vika Volt Charger Bug deck. So, why not include it? Pokenav is uh, kind of be kind of interesting because uh, you can look at the top three cards, get an energy or a Pokemon, and without things like Nazball, Ultra Ball, you might run four Pokenavs to get your Pokemon out. Maybe it's an option. Four candies. Every stage two runs this. Shrine of Punishment. Uh, do you need the maximum of four? I would lower that down to three because there's a lot of one price attacking decks as well. But uh, if you play a heavily Shrine build deck. It's gonna be an awesome time for you because tag teams are all GXs and uh, yeah, tag teams look very promising after rotation with things like Cherry's Ball. So try and yeah, if you play maybe three only, only three, only three copies if you play against, of course, a one prize attacking deck, you're saying like, oh, I have too many shrines. And without Ultra Ball to just discard him from the hand, you're gonna be stuck with him. And if you play Cynthia, it's gonna be uh, ridiculous. Sky Pillar shuts you down the, the damage done to your bench Pokemon. We also have a Mew for that in the Unbroken Bond set. You don't typically need this, two copies should be efficient. But if you're very sca uh, scared of Picaron, you might include it if you don't have any other stadium you want to be running. Steven's Resolve, typically used in stall decks, but can also find its way into like some weird Guardian Sylveon tag team decks where you use Steven's Resolve, get of course Morgan and all that uh, hats shenanigans and then smack it down get all the energies onto your Gardevoir and Sylveon and out of nowhere use that GX move and uh, they don't have anything in the hand. Super Scoop Up! Without Acer Roll Off, Super Scoop Up will be the main way to heal up your Pokemon because Max Potion is also gone. It's a flippy card uh, if you just flip Tails. Uh, if you flip tails, that means that uh, there's nothing going on. If you flip heads, that means that, uh, yeah, you can just pick up your Pokemon immediately. Even if it has damage, if it doesn't have damage, it's good. This is going to be amazing to get the Denny out of the board. If you're playing Super Scoop Up, that's going to be a good time if you have luck with coin flips. Switch is also going to be part of a, a lot of decks because, uh, yeah, we don't have Guzma to just be our Switch mechanic. So Switch is definitely going to be four off in your binder. Tate and Liza. Uh, shuffle as well as switch. Why is this gonna be uh, mentioned here? The, because there's gonna be a lot of uh, Picarons running that Raichu and Alolan Raichu Tag Team GX which automatically paralyzes us if it comes from the bench. To overcome that we have Tate and Liza, we have Switch, but uh, there's also the Escape Board, so uh, I'm mentioning it right here. And then Underground Expedition, we've seen it before in Call of Speeders, uh, Survivor Tapu Goku deck uh, and the Lil Special Event, so it sometimes sees play. Okay, moving forward, we have Dragon Majesty, small set, not a lot of cards you need here. Dragon Talon, well, why, why is this good? If it's equipped to a Dragon type Pokemon and the opponent attacks you, they receive three damage counters. Why is this uh, sufficient? Well, for the Garchomp Giratina. This tag team will enjoy this tool card so much they smack into you and then you can just immediately uh, take that revenge on uh, that attack that deals 240 damage if the opponent already has damage counters. In total, 270 equal the math, it's Charizard Reshiram, bye bye. 
Next, Fiery Flint. Every fire deck that uh, wants to get energies into the hand. Think about Baby Glacephalon. Sometimes Charizard runs this as well to abuse with Welder. It's good. Lance Prism Star. We haven't seen it a lot, work a lot in the competitive scene. But maybe it's time for it to shine. Sometimes you play one copy of and uh, you can find it with things like Jirachi. Who knows? Lance Prism Star will sometimes work in your favor. But right now it's a little bit difficult. Switch Raft, if you want to switch uh, your water type while also healing, this is the card for you. And then Zinnia, also never saw play, but I definitely want to put it in your binder. You never know when Dragon wants to accelerate energies from the hand. Yeah, it's gonna be good. If uh, Let's say you use Fiery Flint and you can attach uh, those fire energies to one of your Dragon type Pokemon. Although Welder would be better uh, to do that, but still, uh, attaching energies from the hand to your Dragon type Pokemon could be a great if a great Dragon type book comes out. All right, Lost Thunder. This is a mouthful. There's a lot of cards you want here. Adventure Bag, Searching Tool Cards, Choice Helmet, Reducing Damage. This is gonna be uh, yeah more important than ever before. Without Choice Band to hit the numbers, Choice Helmet might uh, reduce like a two hit KO into a three hit KO, as a, a little example, or a one hit KO into a two hit KO. Choice Helmet is awesome. Uh, next up is gonna be Custom Catcher, the star of the new meta with gusting. You need two copies, then you gust, otherwise it's an Oro Guru effect. <laughs> uh, Electro Power, any lighting deck needs four of. Faba is gonna be fantastic to put st stuff in the Lost Zone. Uh, for instance, Shedinja, you can put tool cards, special energy stadiums, you can put them in the Lost Zone. Faba is awesome. Fairy Charms, you don't need all of them. I do suggest getting the, fa uh, the Psychic one, the Fighting one, and the Dragon one. Why the uh, Psychic is just very obvious. Mew and Mewtwo is weak to uh, Psychic, and it's also Psychic type. And that way you cannot get uh, attacked by, uh, by again, oh, you cannot get attacked from uh, Mew and Mewtwo. So that's awesome. It's uh, equipped to fairy uh, Pokemon in general. Fighting type, why is that good? Because dr uh, Darkness types uh, looks to have it very good with Weavile, GX, and all that stuff. So if uh, Darkness is good, fighting will become good. If fighting is good, this charm might come good. Uh, fairy Charm, Dragon, Four, of course, Giratina and Guard Charm, that tag team, and also Ultra Necrozma, Rayquaza, etc. Then Great Stadium cards, we have Heat Factory, every fire deck runs this, and then we have Life Forest, some grass types might run this if you're having that heal type shenanigans going on. Lost Blender, you need that for, of course, your Lost March deck, even if uh, you cannot attack with Natu anymore thanks to the DCE rotating, there's still uh, the Jump Lift which can attack. Lusamine, Prism Star, this is as awesome in, uh, in any Ultra Beast deck. So if you're just having a, let's say Baby Blast for instance, or Blacephalon Nagadel, if you smack this down on a specific turn, the opponent cannot touch you at all, which can swing the game in your favor. Mina, I've seen this card work in Japanese decks already. If you just smack it down, you can search your deck for a, a fairy energy and put it onto one of your Pokemon. This could help to get the necessary energies from Mew and Mew to attack in GX in order to a copy a Pokemon's attacks from the discard pile, for instance, Altaria GX. Mixed Herbs, we've seen it before with Reshizard, we've seen it before with Gengar Mimikyu Tag Team, we still need 4 off. Netball, same for that. This is gonna be one of those uh, only, yeah, Grass types have uh, it very good because it's one of the few types that still have, has a proper ball search. Netball search is either a Grass Energy or a Grass Pokemon, so Grass Pokemon still have it good. And talking about having it good, if you have 60 HP or less and you have a build around it, Professor Alms Lecture is the way to go. Think about Sedinja decks, think about uh, Malamar decks. Everything that has 60 HP as their uh, primary basic will love the Elms Lecture. Four copies in your deck even if you're playing that. Together with Communication, which I'm going to talk about after Lost Thunder. Thunder Mountain and Sightseer, both copies uh, you definitely want in your binder. Sightseer, you might uh, reduce that to two copies. Spell Tag, four off. Ah, this is going to be fantastic. Without Field Blower, Spell Tag reigns supreme. If uh, one of your Psychic types with this equipment gets knocked out, you can put four damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. And that can... Uh, yeah, set up KOs eventually with Distortion Door and Spell Tech and Smacking Damage. They'll definitely have an awesome time. Not only can a Spell Tech just put Pokemon in range, you can also uh, get, of course, your attacks off with Giratina and Garchomp. Put one damage counter on every Pokemon you want to be one-shotting later. Uh, then Wait and See Hammer is uh, one copy is just sufficient. You don't want to be putting four copies. It's searchable with Green's Exploration, so sometimes in a certain deck you want to be using that. Now, Team Up. Uh, first up, I'm gonna just drink a little bit because uh, it's a mouthful that Lost Thunder said that the sets keep on getting bigger and bigger. Bill's Analysis, hard to come by, it's a very pricey card, but if you're running a, like a, a fossil deck, you will want, want to run this. If you're running a stage 2, sometimes you want to run this, so Bill's Analysis gets two trainer cards from the top 7 cards, so it's basically like Jirachi's ability on steroids. Black Market is fantastic if you're running a Darkness deck. That means uh, the opponent takes one last prize card if they knock out the Darkness Pokemon. Brock's Grid. 
the only reliable way to get things from the discard pile without having to go through a loop with things like resource management. Brock's Grit is gonna be fantastic. So one of an almost every deck, I would say, unless you run a maximum amount of copies so you can just last yourself through the game. Or if you're running Giratina, that comes uh, from the discard pile back itself. Buff batting, oh, this is a difficult one. We have not seen it uh, have a lot of success in lately, but definitely include a couple of copies in your binder. Dangerous Drill. This is going to be a way to get rid of tool cards. If you're afraid of spell tech and all that stuff, you might run uh, the uh, Lysander's Lab, but Dangerous Drill is also nice for Darkness decks. Not only can you be making like, uh, for instance, you use Darkness, uh, actually Dangerous Drill, put something in the discard pile, for instance, and uh, Incineroar GX. And then you can use that attack with, of course, Mew and Mewtwo Tactic Jack. So as a little example. Erika's Hospitality, uh, before we go to that, uh, there's also that hat version here with Morgan. You might want to be running uh, a couple of copies in your binder, maybe four Morgan and like uh, two of the other girls. <laughs> because that is uh, going to be crazy as energy acceleration and we've seen it. Work with a couple of uh, decks before like the Gar Gardevoir and Sylveon Tag Team GX and Rockwaza before. Erika's Hospitality, two copies is sufficient. We still have Lily, we, have, we still have Cynthia. This is going to be a way to just draw cards uh, as a maximum. You, you might end up with 10 cards in the hand if the opponent has a full bench, so Erika's good. Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast, gonna be fantastic because Ultra Beasts are looking very good after rotations. So uh, with this, your Fairy types become immune for the G-axis for Ultra Beast. So not the regular baby, uh, let's say, baby Blue can still eat you up, but uh, the GX not. Ingo and Emmet, this is gonna be a card that uh, is gonna be fantastic if you're playing Oranguru with the research management. That way you can just put cards on the bottom, you can draw them out with Ingo and Emmet. Seen uh, success before with Shedinja and Zabstrika. Jasmine, Pretty similar like Elm's uh, Lecture, and in most instances Elm's Lecture is better, but with Jasmine you can get 5 copies if you go uh, second and it's your first turn. Otherwise you can only get one metal type Pokemon, but still, without a reliable search, getting 5 targets out of your deck immediately is just way too good to pass up if you're playing a metal deck. Judge Whistle, fantastic card, 4 off, and definitely Nanu, you only need 2 copies, but it's a very interesting card to just put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile and swap it with one of your Pokemon in play. Uh, this is gonna be a way to just uh, abuse, of course, those Darkness Pokemon, getting uh, them in play out of nowhere. Communication, four off. This is also a very amazing card. Uh, you can just swap a Pokemon from your hand to, uh, yeah, with one of your Pokemon in your deck. You can use Elm, get like a tree in case, smack two in case down, use communication and get uh, something else. So that's how good it is. Viridian Forest, uh, you also need three copies, maybe even four, because this searches out energies and uh, we've seen it work before in um, Ultra Necrozma Malamar. Water Memory, uh, I did not include other memories because uh, those types like Grass Memory, who needs that? Fire is too dominant. Water Memory is good. With still Valley GX and Triple Accelerated Energy, you might have the edge against a uh, Fire deck, so that is that. Wondrous Labyrinth, if you're playing a Fairy deck, for instance, Whimsica GX, you're obligated to play Wondrous Labyrinth to just annoy the opponent. And uh, that's it for Team Up. Now the last set of the day. Unbroken Bots. What do we need here? Chip Chip Ace Axe is gonna be a way to just... Uh, uh, this is seen playing Gardevoir Sylveon. Uh, you use that uh, hat technique with Morgan and stuff. Get all the energies onto your Gardevoir and Sylveon. Use the GX move. Your opponent doesn't have anything in the hand. And then you just play down Chip Chip Ace Axe. And then they draw all uh, garbage. Dust Stone, four copies. You can play with Ms. Magius. You can play with the Hunchcrow. We've seen it play uh, at the top eight spot at the North American Internationals to get out to get out Hunchcrow. So that's a very great card. Electromagnetic Radar, definitely must an uh, any Picaron deck. Maybe two or three copies is sufficient. You don't need the maximum of four, I think. There's also Cherish Bolt, that's why. Energy Spinner, you need uh, how would I, three copies. Three copies is sufficient for Energy Spinner. Gets energies out of your deck. If it's uh, your first turn and you go second, uh, you can just get three energies instead. Fairy Charm Ability, very amazing if the opponent has an ability. For instance, let's say an attacker that has an ability. Wow, this is difficult without Zoroark being gone, but it's definitely gonna see play in the near future. Yeah, for example, Caldeo GX cannot touch you. Even though you are a GX yourself, you cannot touch him, but uh, yeah, you equal the playing field like that. Fairy Charm Lightning, very important. Picaron is still very good after rotation. You need this in your Fairy deck. Let's say you play Whimsicott, play one copy. You can uh, sometimes get it with, uh, of course, your Chirachi or whatever. Fire Crystal, every Fire deck needs this to recover three Fire Energies from the Discard Pile. Giovanni's Exile, I would only play if you're playing that mill deck with Diglett and Rhydon and you enjoy playing that. 
I guess you need a lot of copies, but other than that, only two copies is sufficient in your binder. This is gonna be a way to clean up your Dedenne jacks in like one prize decks. You just play Dedenne because it's the only reliable way to draw a lot of cards, and then you can get rid of it with Giovanni's Exile. Green's Exploration, four off. A lot of decks are now playing like four Poke Gear and four Green's Exploration, so that's why you need that. You can search two trainer cards immediately if you know you're not playing any abilities at all. Koga's Trap, why is this on here? Without Professor Kukui, this is the reliable way to add 10 extra damage. This is gonna be poison damage. The opponent is also confused that way. But let's say, uh, Reshiram and Charizard. You deal 230 damage, which is one damage short to knock out a Picaram. No problem, there it goes Koga's Trap. Bam, you get the KO. So two copies, it's gonna be in the same way played as a Kukui, so very in interesting card. I wonder if a lot of people will play that. Lieutenant Search, you need three copies? Sometimes, nah, only two. There's not gonna be a lot of stall after rotation, so two is efficient, only attacking decks run like two copies as a maximum. That way you can just rely on getting two supporters in the same turn. Martial Arts Dojo doesn't see any play right now. But uh, you cannot use it for uh, like Ultra Beast, but if you're ever fighting type Pokemon comes out and it's good, it's gonna be running four copies of Martial Arts Dojo. You can dish out an additional 10 damage. If you're behind in price cards, your additional damage will be uh, yeah, plus 40. Very amazing. Pokegear, mentioned this before, four copies. Power Plant, four copies. Sometimes Power Plant Dax will be real. You can shut down the Dene. You can uh, shut down a lot of abilities from GXs. Things like Whimsy Cup with that fluffy whatever. Smack it down and you're good. Also, Caldeo GX will be a way. If you want to counter that, Power Plant is the main way to do it. Reg Challenge. Uh, this is a difficult one. You can put like four copies in your binder. I, I know it's a holographic card. But uh, I wonder if Granbull is still good. We still have 60 HP Snubbles thanks to the Detective Pikachu uh, movie. That means uh, if you use Elm and Red Challenge and Viridian Forest, you might have a, sub uh, yeah, a sustainable deck with Granbull still. Next is uh, Stealthy Hood, two copies, you don't need the maximum. This is gonna be a way to prevent all the effects of the opponent's abilities uh, yeah, done to this Pokemon. So uh, this was used to get a counter Valplume, but there's gonna be a lot more things to, that we can counter after new cards get released. Surprise Box, four copies, if you plan on making the Gengar Mimikyu almost our deck. And then Welder, definite four off because it's fantastic. Welder is just the, the prime card for every single fire deck. Every single fire deck needs four Welder because energy acceleration and drawing cards, that's just too good to pass up. And that is the buy list for all the trainer cards you'll be needing in your binder uh, for the next rotation. The rotation is uh, in one month's time, so uh, you have a lot of time to just get all these copies into your binders. I also did a list on the Pokemon, so with all that combined, you have yourself a very thick binder and you're ready to rock as soon as the rotation takes place. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always. This video was suggested by a lot of people, so if you have more suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If I forgot a card that you say, like this trainer card you definitely need, put it also in the, uh, in the comment section below. I'll definitely be uh, taking a look at that. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Subscribe for more Pokemon TCG content, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out. If you wanna go and test the deck that isn't played a lot, then it's for my down. Listen to what I'll say. If you wanna go and try it out with me, let me know how it does in a tournament. I think it could be. Sundays, one new ideas pop in my brain. Where